Hey, my name's Shane Cooper. I'm a bass player, composer, and producer from South Africa, based in Joburg. So far, my career has involved a balance of live music, performing around the world, around South Africa, touring different projects, uh, playing different genres of music, predominantly jazz music, uh, as well as electronic music, but a full range of other genres as well, everything in between and adjacent to those. I've also worked a lot inside studio spaces as a composer and producer, really dealing with recording techniques um, and production techniques and editing and things like that. So my career thus far has been a balance of live and studio environments. For me, music began very young. I grew up with this family that all listened to music, a lot of folks, brothers. Uh, I was lucky to be exposed to what I consider really good music from a very young age. And this piqued my interest early on, sparked an interest in a diverse range of sounds, instrumentation, of orchestration, um, and a love for, a love and a curiosity around music and sound sources that has prevailed to this day. It is not bound to any genre, but rather more a fascination with texture, color, space, and shape in sound. I grew up in the town formerly known as Port Elizabeth, and at that time I was very fortunate to be exposed to musicians from a young age through my older siblings who played in bands on an amateur level. I was also going to watch concerts, seeing local musicians perform, and musicians coming on tour through the town. So immediately I was attracted to the kind of energy that I was witnessing from these musicians on stage and the kind of interaction that you saw happening between the mics musicians on stage. This had some sort of magic that was very alluring to me and very attractive. And from a young age, this is something I wanted to pursue and, and find out more about. So I took up different instruments. I took up piano and guitar and was fortunate enough to have some mentors in my life. So there were a lot of people I looked up to from a mentoring perspective through to musicians, incredible musicians from around South Africa who were coming through to play shows at various folk clubs and things like that. I heard about the Artist in Residence program through a friend who shared it on her Instagram, actually. And through that, I started the application process. The angle from which I look at music and sound every day when I engage with my practice is not from the perspective of a bass player. It's not from the perspective of any particular genre per se, but rather the pursuit of form, the pursuit of uncovering potential, sonic potentials, through the engagement of different sound sources. Now, sometimes that can manifest in this or that outcome that could be classified under a certain genre. But for me, I think the thing that perhaps is key to what identifies my, my practice is something that is not bound by genre. It is really dealing with sound on a textural level, no matter which direction I push that forward. Into. So a lot of what I'm looking at can be broken down into patties. How different patterns engage with each other on a micro level and on a macro level and everything in between. So really how zooming in on sound patterns, on frequencies and rhythms and things from these different worlds that I'm looking to fall together, how those small individualistic patterns start to fit into a bigger kind of mosaic as you zoom out and how that mosaic itself is then attached to further patterns, the medium level, you zoom out and you see the bigger connectivity of these blocks. Using those tools to connect the different dots is a very powerful method. And I think that this can be communicated in a context that is understood by people from dis different disciplines without them having to have been schooled in music. This is interesting to me because when I speak to people around the process involved in these sort of things, I'm interested in how 
I can be influenced by people from other mediums, other practices, whether it be visual arts, architecture, dance, film, you name it. There are so many commonalities, really, at the end of the day. And I think a lot of this speaks to fundamentals of nature, patterns in nature, and all that we see when we look at nature on a micro and macro level, these same things are mirrored in art. These same things are mirrored in these pursuits that we have to do with composition, to do with framing, to do with negative space, to do with light and shade. There's so many similarities and all of this is something that can be investigated from multiple angles, whether it be artistic, aesthetic, feeling, or more analytical, perhaps. Within this program, I'm going to be composing eight new pieces of music that are investigating these potential intersections of South African jazz and South African electronic music idiosyncrasies. So, this will be recorded as audio, as an album. It will be printed to vinyl, as well as released digitally. There will also be notated music. So there are different ways to, let's say, capture this, capture these ideas of concepts. But furthermore, I will be hosting a sonic exhibition at the end of the year in a sort of gallery setting that breaks away from the stereotypical spaces that music is performed in, housed in for these sort of music releases. So while that is at the end of the process, that is also influencing the way I'm working with the music and research and composition right now is to develop ways that this can further be expressed in an interesting three-dimensional space within a gallery setting at the end of the year. So for example, can a composition that is a single entity, let's say in a recorded format, be broken into two separate entities in a physical space so that when you walk around that, you're engaging with two halves of one picture that change for you depending on where you stand in the room in a physical space. So these are things I'd like to explore now going forward, influencing each part of the process so that not only am I recording a piece of music that is housed in a more traditional way as an album, but I'm investigating future possibilities for expressing this to people so that in that exhibition capacity, in that exhibition format, people can engage with the music in a completely different way to the way they would at home, listening on digital devices, or in a live performance setting. And that's very exciting because I've already had some conversation in the process leading up to this when I was applying around the potentials of that within a space at New Jack. How can this be expressed in a non-traditional way? And that's super exciting to me because there are a lot of artists involved with this program and involved in, in New Jack from different disciplines, different practices, who I'm hoping to engage with along the process that might inspire other perspectives and other angles to look at this that I hadn't considered before because I'm coming from a music background.